you place the name of K3, Fe, C and 6. What is the first step here is you have to identify. This is the first always it will be a cation. So this is cation and inside the square bracket what is this? It is an anion. So totally this is anionic complex. So how to name the anionic complex? The first thing is name the cation. Whichever is first you have to name. Name the cation. Name the cation. What is the name of the cation? It is potassium. Next, the second one is what is there inside the square bracket? You have to name. Inside that, first you have to name the ligands. That is, you have to give the number and name of the ligand. Give the number and name of ligand. So, how much ligand is there? Six. Six is hexa. What is the name of this ligand? Cn. Cn minus. That is cyano. This is cyano. Hexa cyano. So, we name the ligand. Next, going to the central atom. Name the central atom. See, in the anionic complex, the central atom should end with 8. Remember, in the anionic complex, the central atom should end with 8. If the, if the complex is cation, you, you will be normally, na normally naming it. So, what is the name of the central atom? It is fen 8. It should end with 8. The suffix is 8. Now, calculate the oxidation state of the central metal atom. So, what is the oxidation state? What is the oxidation number? Here, let us take K. K is 3K is A. So, the oxidation state is plus 1 plus F3. Let us take X. And cyano, 6. It is only a monodentate ligand. Only one donating site. This is minus 1. It's a negative ligand, which is 0, totally 0. So, 3 plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to 3. So, what is the oxidation state? Oxidation state should be written in the numeral. Oxidation state is 3. So, finally, you have to write the name of the complex. What is the name of the complex now? First is potassium. You should not write, you should not give gap or you should not write in the new capital letters. Potassium, hexa, cyano, ferrate, 3. So, this is the name of the complex.